We're proud to present to you the very first featured actress in our new Witch Weekly's Most Inspiring Activist Award series, Alison Sudol. You prefer pie or strudel? Strudel it is. In both Fantastic Beasts films, the American actress plays Queenie Goldstein, our favorite Ilvermorny alum and Legilimens witch. Oh, you slay me! In the muggle world, the kind and lovely Alison Sudol is one of the most outspoken advocates for biodiversity and defending the environment in the wizarding fandom. Outside of the magical Potterverse films, the actress and singer-songwriter is very vocal about her compassion for animals. I am a, such a huge animal lover, and what people do to animals upsets me to the point where I get almost paralyzed, like I don't even know what to do. She first gained notice as an activist in 2011 when she tweeted about the Canadian seal slaughter, urging her one million followers to take action and put an end to the horrific practice. Clubbing of seals is so abhorrent and I can't believe people would wear that and people would support that. Ocean conservation, deforestation, species extinction, and environmentalism are some of Allison's greatest passions. They often appear repeatedly in her various creative projects, particularly in the songs she has created as the musician A Fine Frenzy. I wrote Pines because I feel that too often we just pine for things instead of taking action in order to grow. One of the most important things to me is a healthy environment, and that's why I'd like to ask you to join me in helping to stop deforestation. Her album, Pines, tells the story of a lone pine tree and the wild animals who befriend her. Her messages touch on speciesism, conservation, and a deep love for animals and nature. What could be the most loving, nurturing, sort of protecting image I could find in nature? And I thought about um, a pine tree sheltering a little bird from a snowstorm. In 2011, she became a goodwill ambassador for the International Union for Conservation of Nature, working with esteemed conservationists Jane Goodall and Professor E. O. Wilson. What we need to do is to think about the consequences of the little choices we make, what do we buy, where did it come from, did it involve a lot of animal suffering like factory farms. But if everybody does that every day, makes the right kind of little choices, then we start moving towards the kind of world that we really, really need to move towards before it's too late. Absolutely, and it's possible. It's, it's possible, possible and it's happening. That same year, Sudal also teamed up with PETA to promote kindness towards animals. If you can even try to cut out some of the meat and poultry and, and fish products from your diet, try to just replace it with something that you like. I mean, there's amazing veggie burgers out there. There's like great tofu and soy and things that are also really tasty. And if you can just start moving that direction a little bit, it'll help a lot. Later in 2018, Allison became a Greenpeace Antarctic advisor and continues to work closely with the acclaimed organization. Happy International Women's Day from all of us female explorers here in the Antarctic. She has also shown her support for the environment-oriented film The Promise, which stars another Potter alum, Katie Lum. The short animated climate film revolves around the positive and inspiring message that even one person can make the world a greener place. When it comes to the question of how we can start to make change on a small scale, Allison says it all begins with being more aware that literally every single one of us has an impact. No action is too small. Even planting acorns is a positive action you can take for the environment. Planting these acorns is like putting something very hopeful into the ground. Um, and I think we need to do that more than ever now because obviously it's a, it's a strange time in the world. What we eat also plays a huge role in our environmental impact. In an interview with MuggleNet.com about the promise, Allison expressed concern over meat consumption. In California, where I'm from, the factory farming is insane, you know, and like, um, you know, you just drive up through Central California and it's terrifying. And the way that the animals are kept is like shocking. You're eating antibiotics, you're eating stuff that's also just like bad for you physically on, in ways we don't really know about yet. But also, um, if there's less demand for that kind of thing, then there will be less sort of pressure. She voiced her support for the youth who petitioned to stop the Dakota Access Pipeline that would cross the Missouri River. Hello, my friends. I just wanted to take a moment to voice my support for the youth of the Standing Rock Reservation. So basically, some grown-ups who've lost sight of the bigger picture are trying to build a pipeline through the Missouri River. And the kids of the Standing Rock Reservation are standing up for nature, 
our home, all of our homes, and saying why it would be a grave mistake to do so. Most recently, she has been speaking up about some of the most pressing environmental issues of our time, namely issues involving the U.S. government's American Wildlife Administration and climate change. These issues include urging the U.S. Fish and Wildlife Service to keep endangered species protections in place for gray wolves, demanding Russian authorities release the wild orcas and beluga whales held captive in their bays, speaking up for endangered marine mammals in Antarctica, calling for the Australian government to protect koalas and their habitats from the coal industry's destruction. Alison Sudal's advocacy for living a compassionate lifestyle and fighting to protect animals and nature is something that we can all learn from. We love that Allison continues to encourage her fans and animal lovers everywhere to speak up and to carefully consider what they can do to stand up for the environment and all of its magical and non-magical inhabitants. We are also so grateful for the continued support she's shown to the Protego Foundation. With positive forces for change like Allison taking the time to join us in our efforts to advocate for animals, we're able to spread the word about animal rights further and wider. Thank you, Allison. Thank you so much for taking the time to watch this. Thank you.